Well, good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, and I'm so glad you tuned in. We're going to do some a little bit different shows. We're in Scottsdale, as you may remember, and we went to a second one of the attractions at Arizona Boardwalk. In the next two days, we're going to kind of calm our calm my hearts as we enjoy God's creation. We went to a place called Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-A, Odyssey. It's the largest aquarium in the Southwest, I think by far. Really an awesome place. They have 300 different species of fish. In fact, the first ones, and many that you'll see, are actually freshwater fish. I totally enjoyed those, both from the Colorado River uh, and then I enjoyed even just watching the trout, but uh, that's because I've always struggled to catch them. But, but anyway, I, in, in that place, I think I could have caught them, if, but, but, but that's another story. Hey, let's start with out of the Bible and the verse for the day. And it's going to come from Genesis chapter 1, where God said on day 5, in day 5, he said, let the water teem with living creatures and let birds fly across the earth in the expanse of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and moving thing which which the waters teem according to their kinds. And here's the verse, verse 21. And God saw that it was good it was good and what are some of the things that that god created well we're going to enjoy those today see how many of the different species you can find and as we do it i just want to give we give praise to god for what he has done his creation is amazing i never tire of it and of course the lesson that we've talked about on other shows too is that God loves variety in every, in every type of living thing, whether it's plants, animals, beetles. Isn't there something like 3,000 different types of beetles alone? Well, there's lots of different kinds of fish, and this aquarium has them all from big to little. See how many that you see, and uh, enjoy it, and then... I'll come back and close. Oh
Weren't those species something, those different kinds of fish? What was your favorite type? I, gosh, I have so many and I'm, we're gonna spend two days. Tomorrow we're gonna see a whole bunch more fish. And you say, oh, do I need more fish? Yes, you do. And I have a whole different verse for tomorrow that's gonna put it in perspective for you and for me. Because our hearts should be filled with praise. God loves variety, we ought to love variety too. And we do. I just stand amazed at what he has done. Those ones with the spines on them, oh my goodness. I just can't imagine how he thought of that. Anyway, let's close in prayer today, shall we? Our Father God, creator, we often say you are the creator of the heavens and the earth. You also are the creator of everything in the sea. Thank you, Lord, that we can S-E-E -E them. We can see them in a place like this. I pray, God, that my friends watching the show today enjoyed your creation just as I did. I know they did. So, Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you that you make life so interesting by giving us so much variety throughout our life in every area. Thank you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Beautiful day. It's wonderful. This is the day that the Lord